Each year, thousands of students across the country from the EL Education Network take action on Better World Day. Here in Wilmington, Kaumba Academy took their annual efforts to the streets, literally, in a planned march from their school at 12th and French Streets to the Lewis L. Redding City County Building, where students made their voices heard. Better World Day, start with me! Today we were um, having a rally just to um, introduce some more topics about our environment that we need to address as kids. We realize that there are a lot of issues that we need to address and we need to bring forward to the adults in our community. Eighth grader Marley Saunders was one of two Kaumba Academy students that had the opportunity to speak directly to local and state government officials. She says youth violence in Wilmington is one of their greatest concerns. Some of the kids that are younger than us need an opportunity to grow and learn and just play around and be kids while they still can. So we need to make more environments that are safe for them to play around and just have fun. And I'm so proud to be a part of this moment that you decided to reach out to us and say, 5th District Wilmington City Council member Brigida Fields first heard about Kaumba Academy's planned march less than two hours before it began. However, she says once the word was spread, fellow leaders of local government were eager to attend. So we got um, Council President Congo, we got the Mayor's Office, we got Councilwoman Oliver, we got State Representative Nominee Achoka. Um, just to listen to our, our youth. Our youth are important, they are our future. And I just thought it was the opportunity and a great chance to hear what our youth have to say about the city of Wilmington. We are grateful, we are grateful. We have a couple students that would like to speak. If you just think about COVID itself and the impact it's had on their lives, on their schooling, so they have a lot to say. They've endured so much these past few months, so it's up to us to listen to them and give them the opportunity to truly just be children. Our classes literally were virtual the whole pandemic, and we just got to be face-to-face -face April the 12th. So we wanted something big, and we wanted something for the students to actually be able to socialize and really share um, their vision in a bigger scheme. Terry Riggs-Lyle is the lead counselor at Kuumba Academy. She says their eighth graders have been working hard to identify key issues to discuss with city leaders, including gun violence, food for the homeless, and the need for more resources, such as community gardens and wellness centers. In their mind, it was like, you know, we're, we're children, we gotta wait until we're older. And we're like, no, you can tell everyone how you feel now. So this is where the idea came from. And when we gave it to them, they ran with it. The challenges that we're facing today, the answers are in you. Yes. So we they gave us a packet, they wrote down all their concerns. So we're gonna look, as, as council, we're gonna look over um, their requests and their issues and um, we're going to follow up with them to see what we can do as city council to help them move forward and help them address some of the issues and concerns. I hope that they will try to take in the information and try to make a difference so that we can have a better future. Reporting from Wilmington, I'm Michaela Austin, 22 News. You may look in the mirror, at the end of the day it's about you.